I'm not a fan of TikTok. I don't like the app. I don't support the app. I don't have an account. I don't use it. You could say that I hate it. And the reason for that happened about five or six months ago. I was skating at the park after working on a video all day. And I see a couple of these girls walking out of their house. They were wearing sweatpants and a zip up hoodie because it was pretty cold in Michigan. And I see them walking towards the corner of the park where nobody was, where the little playground set is for the kids. And they place their phone down on the playground set. And then they start to undress their clothes. They take off their pants. They take off their hoodie. They unzip their hoodie and drop it. And now they're wearing a crop top from here to here and shorts that were like three inches long. And then one of the girls goes up to her phone, presses record, and she starts doing this provocative cringe TikTok dance that you've obviously seen everywhere on the internet. And they do the same dance about seven, eight times. They finally get it right, I guess. They put their sweatpants back on, they put their hoodies back on, zip it back up, and then they walk back to their house. After watching what just happened, I was shook to my core. I, I lost balance, I couldn't even skateboard home anymore. And when I got home, I had flu-like symptoms, uh, cold sweats, nauseous, diarrhea, vomit. After vomiting out my appendix full of cringe, I finally understood why these girls did what they did, and it's because their parents obviously wouldn't approve of them leaving the house in extremely revealing clothing, especially on a cold Michigan day. So they put on a zip-up hoodie, they put on some sweatpants, they went to the park, and then they took off their clothes and started recording a provocative TikTok dance. And that's why I don't like TikTok, because this is the behavior that it promotes. I can't get behind an app that's full of cringe content that doesn't bring you further in life, that doesn't... You, you never open up the TikTok app and then close out of the app and say, wow, I'm a better person because of that. TikTok videos are usually from six to 15 seconds long. And if your attention isn't peaked and it's not grabbed within the first five or six seconds, then you're gonna skip the video and go on to something else. And this app trains your brain to be changing ideas and changing topics every six to 15 seconds, which is extremely bad. If you're gonna learn anything in life, whether it be from a lecture, from school, from a documentary, from a book, it's not gonna be a 15 second lesson. You're gonna to have to hold your attention on that book for 20 or 30 minutes a day, maybe even an hour. Using apps like this is gonna really bring your attention span down to the point where it's gonna be hard for you to ever sit down and focus on one thing for a long time. If I'm editing a video, it takes me sometimes seven to eight hours depending on the video length. If I'm gonna be reading a book, I have to push myself to go past 30 minutes. Holding your attention onto one thing is becoming more and more rare these days and it's becoming very easy to just keep on swiping through all of these apps and TikTok especially. On top of that, TikTok itself is a pretty shady app. I've heard that it was collecting a ton of data on all of its users and if you upgrade to iOS 14 beta, since there's a lot more security features, it tells you what apps are doing to your phone and how they're using your phone in the background. Some people reported and I've even seen a video that TikTok was copying whatever you had in your clipboard and sending it to their servers, which doesn't make any sense. Why would TikTok have anything to do with what you have in your phone's clipboard? Clipboard is whatever you copied on your phone. So if you copy an image or text or whatever you press copy on, TikTok takes that from you. Even if you aren't using the app, even if you are not even on the app, as long as it's running in the background, it does these shady malicious things. I'm gonna be as unbiased as I can. I'm gonna forget that they're targeting towards a very young audience and promoting provocative behavior and reducing people's attention spans, making them more dumb than they currently are. Should the app be banned? The only problem is, is that now the US government can say, only we can collect data on you, but nobody else can, which is still wrong. And if the US does ban TikTok, that's gonna be the new norm. We're gonna have to be doing loopholes and bypassing our government just to find information, just to download applications because our internet is gonna become censored which is not good. So as much as I hate to say this and as much as I genuinely hate the app TikTok, banning it probably isn't a good idea. What they should do is instead make them change the code so that it doesn't collect as much data on us and then keep the app. Since TikTok's targeted audience is young teenagers and little kids, you guys know who else has that target? pedophiles and there's already been a ton of them on the app. If you think about it from the predator's point of view, they're not gonna use YouTube to go find their targets because well, from now on, you can't comment under videos that have kids in it on YouTube, which is a pretty neat safety feature. If you're like a little kid's channel and there's always children inside of your YouTube video, then YouTube will automatically turn off all comments so people can't be targeting kids anymore. But on TikTok, since everybody on there is usually pretty young, that's exactly where they're going to look. That's where they're going to go. And it's pretty scary for parents that let their kids use TikTok with no restrictions because they're opening themselves up to a whole new world of pedophiles and predators, which is horrible. On top of that, I don't find TikTok videos funny. Uh, my friends all the time send me videos on TikTok and I tell them, yo, if you send me another video, I'm literally blocking your phone number because I don't find anything on that app remotely funny. Like it's just absolute cringe. 
And the stuff that try to be funny, you can tell they're targeted towards like 12 year olds that laugh at just about anything that you throw at them. And if you've matured at least a little bit in life, you wouldn't find the stuff on there uh, that humorous as well. So that's, I don't even enjoy the videos that my friends send me. After seeing what I saw that day of those two underage girls doing a provocative dance for views and likes and then hiding their clothing from their parents, I absolutely hate the app. Like I genuinely hate TikTok. And I don't think you can blame me either. If you were in my shoes, what would you do that day? What would you do if you were at the park and you saw what I saw? I'm genuinely curious. Thanks for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.